A sample of a compound contains 19.27 grams of iron and 17.360 grams of oxygen. What is the empirical formula of the compound? A F E O B F E O two C F E two O three or D F E three O four. Here's the general strategy for determining empirical formulas. You can determine empirical formulas if you have enough information to determine the relative numbers of the atoms of different elements in the compound. In other words, you can get a count-to-count -count ratio for the atoms of the elements in the compound. Remember that moles are just group counts, so you can also use mole-to-mole -mole ratio. Once you have determined the mole-to-mole -mole ratio, all you have to do is to reduce the ratio to a small whole number ratio. Since we're given masses in this question, the first thing we need to do is to convert them to moles. By now, you should know how to do this. Here's a quick review. We start with known masses of iron and oxygen. Then multiply by a conversion factor based on molar mass. Fifty-five point eight five grams per mole is the molar mass of iron, and sixteen point zero zero grams per mole is the molar mass of oxygen. These calculations give us zero point three four five zero moles of iron and zero point four six zero zero moles of oxygen. So far, we have determined that the sample contains 0 0.3450 moles of iron and 0 0.4600 moles of oxygen. So, the iron to oxygen mole ratio is 0 0.3450 to 0 0.4600. A good strategy for reducing this ratio to a whole number ratio is to first divide both numbers by the smaller number. In this case, 0 0.3450 is the smaller number. Dividing 0 0.3450 by 0 0.3450 gives us 1.000. And dividing 0 0.4600 by 0 0.3450 gives us 1.333. Note that we are keeping four significant figures in the result because our original number has four significant figures. When the decimal point is at least 0 0.1 away from a whole number, you should not just round it off. We should not just round off 1.333 to a whole number. What we need to do at this point is to find the smallest whole number multiplier that will make all the numbers close to a whole number. Try 2. If that doesn't work, try 3, and then 4, and so on. Okay, let's try multiplying both numbers by 2. 1.000 times 2 equals 2.000. And 1.333 times 2 equals 2.666. 2.666 is still too far from a whole number. So let's try multiplying the numbers by 3. 1.000 times 3 equals 3.000. And 1.333 times 3 equals 3.999. Now we have two numbers that are very close to whole numbers. 3.999 is essentially equal to 4. Therefore, the iron to oxygen ratio is 3 to 4. The empirical formula is Fe3O4. The correct answer is choice D.